It's 7.30 in the morning at the top of Wickersham Dome, the starting line of Fairbanks' newest extreme sport, the White Mountains 100-mile cross-country marathon. The Bureau of Land Management's White Mountain Recreation Management Team volunteers their support to help the success of the race. Uh, we're just going to be monitoring the race so that we can uh, do a post-use uh, report and uh, help us uh, better gauge our stipulations for next year's race. And Hopefully this will become a fixture of the White Mountains for years to come. We're going to be in front of the race, so we're not going to be impacting any racers. And Maybe we can let some of the other public users know that there's a race coming and uh, uh, just kind of kind of making sure that uh, minimizing conflict between the different users. These BLMers are also the most knowledgeable of the trail systems since they groom and maintain them all winter long. In addition to the role of forward lookout, they will also be watching for injured racers or anyone else in need of assistance. Um, well, things are great. The weather's real nice. Sure We're expecting a great day. We've got the weatherman here telling us. <laughs> <laughs> there is some snow in the forecast tonight, so we'll see if that pans out. Give them something to think about out there on the course. That'll be fun. But with the the course being, uh, with the trail being so nicely groomed, um, a lot of those bikers it will probably be like, uh, to the finish line before it really starts snowing. If it does snow, so it may not even impact them. Um, well, we have 15 more racers than last year, so it's a, a total field of 65 participants. I think the breakdown is what about 30 bikers? Well, I think we have we have more skiers than bikers. 30, 33 skiers, and then five five runners. runners? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then whatever that comes out to for. <laughs> Did you have a long waiting list? I mean, was there? Like a lot of people waiting. Uh, yeah, this it was amazing. Within the first like probably 20 minutes of opening registration, we were full and and had about 50 people on the wait list. It seemed like so um, lots of interest in the race and uh, a lot of great support. It's really been um, interesting for us to see how it's played out and exciting. And we're glad glad everybody's excited about it. If you're thinking about jumping into this sport, think carefully. A 100-mile winter cross-country trek is no small task, and this race is challenging enough to draw athletes from all over the country. No place for the average commuter bike. The machines used here are highly specialized, and so are the riders. Just 10 minutes before start time, and the challengers show up in mass to gather at the starting line. Last minute equipment checks and a little warm up, and then just the wait for the final countdown. After a rallying and spirited start, a much calmer and more determined mood sets in as the mass of competitors crowd onto the narrow trail. After all, it is 100 miles, and not everyone is using the same mode of transportation, or even the same schedule. From the Wickersham Trailhead in the White Mountains, I'm Steve Iverson.